Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing really well. We are back with the long dark and our stalker run. We have entered a new area, which is really exciting and just finally. <laughs> um, so we're currently in the ravine, which is like, I would say one, if not maybe my all time favorite place for just relaxing, even though there isn't like a cute little cabin here <laughs> because nothing bad ever comes here so um yeah we still have a bunch of stuff on us that we bought from coastal highway if you haven't watched the previous video um then we left coastal highway and we come to the ravine obviously this is the map for the coastal highway that we got i'm super super pleased with how this like come together there's still some spots and stuff like that but yeah in the ravine starting the next part of this adventure if you do enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not already and become a member join the discord all that kind of good stuff if you would like to so yeah we're in the cave at the moment um i did say i wanted to try and get some bunnies but it's quite dark so i'm also unsure about that and I don't know where I put my bedroll so that's great come on let me find the bedroll no oh wait 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 I see it I see it I very slightly see it I might have to close a curtain okay yeah I'm gonna do that <laughs> okay that is slightly better <laughs> sorry that's too much right um yeah I don't know I think I might just I really don't know actually. Should we prepare some stuff? Because we have a bunch of acorns. We also have a bunch of burdock. So let me prepare this. It's going to take 45 minutes. So that should be okay. Because um, we don't have a lot of food. And I think that's something that I would like to do and get the bunnies and stuff. Um, I don't want to spend like this whole episode hanging about in the ravine but you know what I can be like so you never know with me so I'm just going to have a little nap because we were actually getting kind of cold okay yeah it's a little bit brighter now it's good let's put this away and Go and see if we can get ourselves some bunnies or possibly even a deer. Oh, also birch. I freaking love this area for birch. Give me all the birch tea you can give me. My headphones sound like so weird at the moment. I sound extremely muffled to myself. I got new like headphone like muffs and they're a lot more compressive than the last ones I had. Like I guess we should say the original ones I had. Oh shit. Cheeky little bugger. Sorry. But I gotta eat. <laughs> I gotta eat, I gotta eat, I gotta eat. Yeah, I saw so it's like, I don't know if I'm shouting more than what I normally would, I guess. <laughs> or like talking louder because they're just so uh, tight. So, yeah. It makes me wonder as well, obviously. I don't know how any of you who watch my videos watch my videos. So like, I don't know how you listen to it, whether you like listen to my videos through speakers, through headphones, any of that kind of stuff. So it makes me wonder how weird or whatever I must sound <laughs> to some people, depending on how they listen to my videos. Uh, those were middens, okay. <clears throat> So yeah, but I'm sounding like super odd to myself. 
They're gonna take a little bit of time to get used to, I think. Um, so yeah, it's quite cold here. We have two bunnies. Uh, it's not like tons and tons of food, but there should be like a deer or something. I don't think I can actually get over this way. Oh, 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 we can. Um, yeah, there should be some deer, so I'm gonna grab that as well. Or try to kill it with my trusty bow that we found and then we made some more arrows. I don't know where the rope would be for the rope climb, obviously. But it's possible it's in the train cart. I'm just going to take that and I'll drop it off somewhere. Oh, wait, there's a deer here. I tell you what, we'll just, um, we'll just harvest this guy up because why not? He's here and he's free. <laughs> Poor little guy. You're going to a good cause. You're going to a good cause. I won't bother with the hide because I, I'm not too fussed about the hide. But. How do I get back up here? Oh, like this. We're very hungry. Oh, it terrifies the shit out of me. I'm still, like, so curious if the cougar will be able to come into the ravine. Seeing as a lot of the other, like, bears aren't in here, wolves aren't in here. It'd be really interesting if the ravine was just like purely a complete safe haven. <laughs> and it's quite a small area, so. There's that. I need to make sure I have enough fuel for a fire to be able to cook the meat. Yeah, I know, we're hungry. I think I've turned down the, like, talking audio a little bit because I was hoping it would help with the, the like, huffing and puffing. Because it's sometimes when we stop, I've noticed it for, like, a long time. I will stop, but then there'll still be, like, footstep movements but then I have like the uh, like wildlife sounds still at max because you know I want to be able to <laughs> hear when there's a wolf or something coming but they still panic the living shit out of me okay I don't see any idea Oh no, sorry, it's not like the breathing, it's the backpack noises, which I can only imagine. Okay. That honestly scared the crap out of me. It must be up there somewhere. You're just hearing him running around. Okay, there we go. I definitely want to level up the bow as well because I would love to be able to take a shot with the bow from... So, like, you kind of go like this and you go like that. Nope, not like that. Oh, there's another deer here anyway. Okay. Oh, here it is. I guess I'll just put this away for now. I don't know how many calories I have spare. 76. We'll be pushing it, but it'll be okay. Might be able to be able to, like, start a fire and stuff like that. I don't know if they changed it. And this is like, oh, here's the rope. Okay, that's awesome. 
Do I have another torch? I mean, I don't think I actually have another torch because we made a wrong turn. Um, on our way here. Let's, oh wait, actually, let me take the charcoal and then we'll start another fire. Let's use that 85 plus this one. But yeah, so I've kind of I have put that down quite a while ago to see if it would help me be able to hear the wildlife more than I could hear like parts of my character moving. <laughs> so like the bag and stuff, it sort of makes a jiggly noise. Maybe not jiggly noise, but it sort of it makes a noise. Imagine if we could cook the guts. How long is that going to take? 49 minutes? Oh, it might help if I actually put something in the fire. Let's do some reclaimed woods. And let me eat a cat's tail because otherwise I think we're going to die. We've got some soup here though. Wait, no, 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 no. And some matches, which is cool. I don't know if there's any coal that falls in this cave. My guess is not. Look at this, it's so pretty. Like even this is pretty and it's literally like two dead rabbits. <laughs> um, F10. I've got to remember actually. I'm using something different to record um, like my gameplays lately. Oh, we got beef jerky as well, I'll just eat that. Um, yeah, I'm using something different to record my gameplays. Normally I would just use NVIDIA. But I'm trying out OBS. Uh, 36. Should we just pass time? I want to get like... Pretty well fed up. Now, I don't know whether we should harvest the rest of it or not. Let's do this. 60 minutes should be okay. Hopefully the deer doesn't burn. I still feel like it would be really cool if the meat could cook like this. Sort of like how the cups of coffee and stuff get warm. Uh, let's put you over there. Let's put you there. 34. Oh, you're already harvested slightly. So let's harvest up you. But yeah, so I'm excited to be in a new area. But also nervous. I would like to kind of do what we have done with the other areas if I can. Which is to survey as much of it as possible let me put in two sticks and then I'm going to see if I can actually go out and grab I could always like leave the like the birch and stuff here oh he would be a beaut if I could get him you're only running away because that guy ran away Don't run into me. Yeah, because they always said you like. Stand a little bit below. Oh my god, was that a kill shot? <laughs> There's no way that that. I mean, I will take it. I will lovingly take that. Um, right then, I guess what we should do is, do I make my fire go for a longer period of time? Then come and harvest this little cutie. Come 
because that guy will have a lot more meat on it than the other ones. I just don't know. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's make sure we actually cook this stuff first. So that's got 31 minutes left. Sticks we can get plenty of, so they're not really a bother to me at the moment. But let me drop off anything. Let me drop off this. And this. And that. And... Yeah, so I don't know. I think we might... I think we'll just, like, harvest it fully. I was going to quarter him. Um... But I don't know whether to... Oh, sorry, that one's getting a bit burnt. <laughs> Uh, 23, 3 minutes. Oh, do I have anything for water I do? Or should we just make another fire? I think making another fire would probably be... A better shout. Yeah, maybe making another fire would probably be better, so... Let's go out and let's harvest the rest. Oh, I mean, I haven't even started yet, so. I just, I was thinking of quartering him. But I do think that you lose a small amount when you, ooh, coal. Ooh, lots of coal. I say lots, there's like two freaking pieces. Better than nothing. But yeah, at least we'll have like some food here, which will be so good. I think my arrow broke though. That's the only other thing. Um, should we do, let's do like small pieces at a time. Or just like little bits at a time. Cause I think that that also gets the harvesting up. We'll do some smaller pieces as well. Because I think after here, we'll go to the dam, which is literally right outside. And that is also one of my absolute favorite places. <laughs> uh, eight minutes. Yeah, let's do this. If we just do like a variety, we'll have some big chunks and then we'll have some small chunks. And then I think we'll be good to go. I hope you guys are having a good day or night midday whatever the time <laughs> wherever you are i hope you're having a good time just doing whatever it is that you're doing <laughs> hopefully you're watching this video and enjoying it but uh okay next. we are done yeah i think oh wait my out yeah broken okay that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine so at least we could get the arrowhead from it which is better than absolutely nothing. So I'm not going to complain. I will, however, take the feathers. And I think what I'll do is I will... Should I actually break down this? It's going to take an hour. 45 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Because then we can have a little stash of some real good stuff. I'm just going to use my hands. I mean, I've still got the bit over there where the bunny is to go and check out. I've still got the uh, little turned over train cart as well. And I want to go and deploy the rope. So we'll be here for a little while, but we won't be here for like this whole video. Don't worry. I will not make you guys sit through me sitting in this cave. <laughs> For like an hour. Should I harvest up this guy's guts as well? Just because so that we have it? I guess we should. I wish that, like I really, really do wish that we could do something more with the hides. Because this is like stalker, because it's kind of in a way how everything is so plentiful. 
is it's like a pilgrim game but obviously the wildlife is just a lot more harsh not pilgrim sorry like voyager i guess voyager and pilgrim uh but yeah so it's like the environment is just more harsh which is fine but i wish that we could do something more with the hides because i think that oh no we should be able to turn the hides into leather because obviously there's only so much leather that we can get throughout the game by like destroying oh, like shoes or different bits like that so i'm being really pedantic and i'm gonna drop off all the larger pieces of meat so we've got one 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 and then this one is a little bit less so these are the bits that wouldn't take the longest to cook i'm gonna eat the tin food and everything like that though before we start um before we start going into all of the meat unless i'm like absolutely starving so i'm also going to drop off all of these here we do still have still have some coffees on us which is good um the bunnies so these ones won't take as long to cook we are a bit tired let me drop off see the only other thing as well is for me the fire isn't in like a good spot i'm gonna drop off four of those I'll keep one on me for like an emergency. And I think we're good to go. Oh, should I drop off all of the birch as well? I'm just making piles of goodies. <laughs> I'm just making piles of goodies. This is fine. Uh, yeah, so we've got some coal there. We've got some sticks. We've got lots of meat. Especially if I'm careful with how much I'm eating. It shouldn't like i shouldn't waste it but this is me we're on about so i'll probably go through it because i'm a tiny bit peckish and i'm just like i better eat anyway um so we've got the feathers right i think the metals oh it did boil okay cool <laughs> cool 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 um so yeah we're not super tired at the moment i'm going to take this Am I gonna go and deploy it? <laughs> go and deploy it. I really can't get used to these headphones. <laughs> it probably sounds so stupid and I'm fine with that, but I just, I mean, I've only had them for like a couple of days, but they're like full on like ear cuff ones. So it like creates a proper um oh what word like noise cancelling so i literally like can't hear anything around me which also kind of actually really creeps me out so sometimes i sit with like one ear hanging like off but my other headphones they were like made uh the muffs of them were made of uh fabric so oh, look at this I get so distracted so easy. Um, yeah, they were made of fabric, so I could still like slightly hear things around me. If like someone was to knock on the door or anything like that, I could still slightly hear. <laughs> but with these new ones, I like I can't hear almost anything. Uh, what I will do though is. Is it a dead guy down here? I believe it is. We do have a chance. Now, it's not guaranteed anymore, but we do have a chance for there to be another flare gun down there. Um, I won't go down there yet. Oh, my God. Look at all these carts. Oh, I love seeing the map them together. Um, yeah, so we do have a chance of that. There's only some bunnies around here. Oh, yeah, I see one. Do you think we could get this little guy? 
Oh, are you kidding? No way. That like hit his little tummy. He should have been conked out. And then some. Anyway. Doesn't matter. What was I talking about? Headphones and monies. Right. I'm going to go back to the cave. And we are going to... I don't know whether to prepare some of the birch just to waste it. Actually, no. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I don't know how tired I'll get on our way back but I'm gonna pick up some sticks and just take them back with us I might see as well if I can make another um, another torch um, so when we go into the dam I think what I would like to do is I'll just grab these cat's tails now. Uh, yeah, when we go into the dam, I think I will leave the dam, but then I'll just like come straight back into it. I don't know whether that would be weird, but I'll just do it that way. Um, well, actually, no, I don't know. Because obviously I don't want to... I'll search that over there in the next morning. I don't want to leave this area as we've only just got here like i'd like to go and search the trapper's place i'd like to go to my favorite little cabin on the lake i'd like to search the lake area maybe possibly we can find a, a, a rifle so that i can have a rifle in this area as well i know that might sound like really weird but we have a rifle in I think I said this as well in the last episode we have a rifle currently in Pleasant Valley and I also left the one that we had at the garage so we have a rifle in two separate places now it would be kind of really cool if we could get one for every location it would just be a case of us having to get obviously back to the place where we dropped off the rifle for us to be able to use it so that way like I can just take with me the revolver all the time because obviously um wolves are like I would say probably the biggest problem here I'm absolutely dreading going somewhere where there are timber wolves on stalker mode I just feel like there's normally like packs of them anyway and I just feel like there's going to be even more of them in a pack and I'm not ready for that I am not ready for that at all. So it'll be a while before we go to a place like that. But for now, I would just like to search as many places and get the map done um, as much as possible because I think that that would be really cool. Um, especially as, it, obviously this isn't like interloper. I have a bit of chill time. But there's obviously a much bigger threat than us just playing on like Voyager or my favorite, which is Pilgrim. <laughs> so I'm really happy with how this series is going so far. And we have a lot of places still left to explore and everything. So yeah, I think we're doing okay. I think I might eat a few pieces of meat. I don't know whether I would like to maybe cook some of the meat. Uh, like cook some more of it. I'll eat the rabbit pieces because And I will leave that rabbit piece So let's put my bed here Let me drop off some more sticks. Oh I do want to see actually like I said I want to see if I can make I don't think I can make a torch Oh, can I not make a torch? Oh, I don't have any cloth. Ah, oh, those middens would have come in handy. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Let's just drink and then we will sleep. We should stay hopefully warm inside the cave. I'll do six hours and then I'll do some more just in case we are too close to the entrance. Which is why I like to like put my fire just behind the rock behind me. Like I normally like to put my fire a little bit further back. But seeing as there was already a fire here, I'm not going to... 
I'm not going to bother starting a new one just yet. And we're pretty warm, so let's do... Let's try and do seven hours. Lots of stuff, and it is just coming up to morning. I feel like there's going to be a blizzard today. Girl, we ain't that hungry. Come on. We can live a little with the what's in our little tummy. I know this isn't ideal. All you hardcore interlope fans are like cursing me down right now because I'm wasting that. <laughs> right, so I tell you what I will do. Um should I should I? It is actually kind of cold. I'll tell you what I'll do. I think I need a little bit more water anyway. So. Oh, I wanted to leave off some of the tinder things here as well. Uh, the cat's tails. 70% really. Let's do 85. 85 should do it. I'll try and cook. I'll cook the smaller pieces meat first I wonder if like you could play this as a vegetarian I don't think you would last for very long if I'm honest but I wonder if you could and um, by that, obviously, I'm sure you guys get what I mean. But, like, we only live off of, like, the plant stuff. So we, like, get zero meat whatsoever. Because you're going to eventually run out of plants. Because, obviously, cat's tails. I feel like you would have to only eat when you sleep. I don't know if I could do a playthrough like that. Look at that piece of meat there. Just chilling. Uh, 25, 18. 7. Let's do one large piece. Oh, yeah. I love how full the meat makes us. That sounds... <laughs> that sounds questionable, but it's cool. 16 minutes. Then I'm going to do some more water. It would be probably a good idea at some point if I had enough stuff fuel-wise to make two fires and then just to, like make a crap ton of water. Maybe if we find like a cooking pot or something, that would be really good. Um, okay, the weather isn't like awful. But should we do another one? and let's take a thingy I'm thinking 15 I might be able to get another one out of both of them with the 30 minutes so let's just uh, leave. I'm going to actually quickly drop off some of these because we don't need all of those on us. Oh, and I actually want to harvest that, but I'll do that. I'll do that when we come back. And then the only other thing was water. Yeah, we could do, we could do with getting some more water, but it's fine. So I've already dropped off the rope, which is good. Uh, we've only got two pieces of charcoal. It's fine. We can get some more at a different time. I want to go and check the place over here and grab any of this birch and twigs. Just to have a little stockpile here because that would be like so good. And then I want to go actually into Coastal Highway. Uh, sorry. Uh, I was going to say Crystal Lake. What is it called? Mystery Lake. <laughs> I want to go into Mystery Lake and search the dam. There's normally like 
But I say normally, sometimes there's a high possible chance for there to be a wolf just outside of the place though, so I don't want to get caught, but I don't want to waste ammo, so it's like a catch-23. I think I'll drop off as much of this stuff as possible in the cave before we go. And I'll make sure I'm uh, fed up. Wouldn't it be cool if this whole thing, like this whole section here, this makes me so disorientated, was just full of coal because it was like a coal transport? I think that would be cool. Okay, so this is done. Oh, it makes me feel so sick. Does it make anyone else feel sick? Or is it just me? I wish we could open like these ones. Like this one here. I wish we could open it. Maybe like we could dig the snow out and make it fall this way. Because I'd maybe... This one seems like the safest. So I'd probably stay inside here if I'm honest. The cave is nice and all, but I'd probably stay inside that one. I just wish we could open them. I think that's something else that I would love to see them do with the game is to have more of the cabins be open and just like stuff like that because there's so much that you can do with this. It's already a really great game and it definitely has its sort of like fan base behind it of like people that just really enjoy it. Which is always nice to see with games that are not necessarily like by huge developers and stuff like that, like Bethesda or Ubisoft or stuff like that. I, there are some real little gems out there and I think this is probably one of them. I'll just check up here because normally there's a corpse. Maybe I'll try and get a bunny or two, but we've got enough meat at the moment. It's so hard to see in the grass. <laughs> Is she like complaining she's cold? it's not that cold we still have a nice warm temperature um i think that one's not good let's try this one nope too far okay i'm gonna grab these but i'll drop them off so that i kind of like don't really have to come back here at any point unless it's for the bunnies i will try and get at least one bunny oh see there isn't the guy this time Sometimes there's been a guy in a backpack here. This time it's literally just a flare. Which is fine. We'll wait till Bunny stops being so erratic. <laughs> it's only erratic because I want to try and freaking throw a stone at him. I don't blame him. That guy up there chilling. Okay, we'll try and get this one. I don't have like... I think I've sort of... I can't get it 100%. Which is like, fine. But I sort of have it a little bit down where I know roughly the sort of sweet spot of throwing the stone to get the bunny. But it doesn't always work out. I don't have a stone at the moment. I wish like if you were this close you could just like grab him. I don't know if you can. It comes up with like the little circle. I don't want to shoot him. But I don't know if you can just like grab the bunny. I hit his butt. 
I hit his little butt. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, right. Anyway, we are heading back to the cave. And I'll drop off some stuff. And then... Oh, this is so... Okay, good, good. I think what we'll do is I will break down one of these. And I will cure it inside the cave. I'm so happy with this. <laughs> I'm so happy with how this is going. Okay, anyway, right, right. I'm gonna cut out this next little bit. I'll go to the cave, drop off some stuff, and then we will head off into Mystery Lake and go into the dam, and then we'll just like search the whole of the dam because that's a really, really great place to search, I think. And hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed, we will find a rifle there. I hope, but time will tell, I guess. Okay, right. I have harvested up the other two bunnies that we got. I'm just going to quickly survey. We're still inside the cave. I will probably sleep when we get into thingy. But we're good to go for the moment. Um, actually, I think what I'll do is drop a few flares here as well this is what the cave's looking like <laughs> we got a little sections of stuff we've got our curing stuff we've got meat that's gonna take longer to cook we've got the bunny obviously cooked meat let me just eat one piece um i do need to take oh i think it must have boiled away okay that's a shame but it's fine uh, i've dropped off the majority of the coal i dropped off some more of that um and then yeah we've got our bedroll i think we're kind of good to go for everything so let's just head on into actual mystery lake and check out the dam i think i might do the two cabins the two trailers outside first if they if i don't see a wolf straight up then I'll do the two trailers. If I see a wolf, then I'm gonna poo my pants and then make my way to the dam. <laughs> but I am so excited. So excited, so happy, so pleased. So far, I mean, even if we haven't got many bears or wolves or anything like that and our skills aren't super super high i'm just pleased with the stuff that we have managed to do and we managed to get a deer which i think is also really really great I'm actually really scared, so I'm just going to do this. Because the wolves are, like, so sneaky. I can never hear them. Okay, so we've got that. We've got that. I will just take everything. Obviously, we can break down a lot of this stuff as well. If need be, but... Nice. Oh, very nice. The dam is like one of my favorite places. I'm sure you guys probably freaking know that already. <laughs> How many times has she got to say it? But yeah, the dam and then the lake cabin. And then obviously we've got the... Um, trapper's place which is just so nice on the hill and oh that's a good point actually hopefully we can find a um oh i don't know if i need that uh do, 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 do. hopefully we can find a rifle 
because then if there is like a moose or something or if there is the bear that does go past the trapper's place or even at the one at the little um, lake area i can't remember the name of a lot of these places but if you know the long dark i hope you know what i'm on about uh but yeah hopefully like there's one that goes around there i would really like a moose just so i could make the satchel and then obviously we can upgrade our um inventor okay so that one has a battery in it oh okay uh cave has opened up near milton trapper's place earthquake memento okay i don't know where that is so when we get to safety a rifle in the back of here i will quickly oh shit it opens outwards okay probably only really good for a um starting a fire now okay so we're here Okay, so it's up by the trapper's place. That makes sense because it mentioned the trapper. Okay, uh, let me break down. It's going to take an hour. Would that be worth it? I've never actually really searched around like here. So I don't know if the, all this time there's ever been stuff that is helpful. <laughs> And I've just completely ignored it, or what, but... Like this! Oh my god. What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna have to start searching. Because now we have two books. I think that's the other thing that's good about that cave area, with the deer and everything. Um, we can just go there. We can chill, we can read books, we'll be in the warmth we have some foods and we won't get the risk of cabin fever that's also like a huge bonus of that area all right let's go inside it's pretty dark and oh nice i think i will use this lantern to light up our way I will search for a little bit until I get too tired. Got a box. And then we'll just sleep. We can get like so much toilet water from here as well. Oh, I'm so excited. My, my excitement is slowly depleting <laughs> because there's nothing okay we have a workbench which is good for when i would maybe need to come back in and make some more arrows once the other birch as uh, has cured and stuff like that um obviously only if they're arrows i have all die okay um Let's put this here along with this. Hopefully I'll be able to see them and remember they're there. Okay. Sometimes there's been a few, like we just saw with the loose revolver round. Sometimes there's been some loose rifle rounds. I don't know if I'll search the whole of the dam in the rest of this episode. <laughs> I might drag it out for you guys. No, I don't know. Depends how much we can get. Really? Ah, uh, I thought the dam would be like a super great place. I love these posters. They're actually really cool. They give me like vintage vibes and I really like that sort of stuff. 
like old retro sort of just yeah just stuff really um can we break down the brooms we can okay i think there's another thing as well sometimes there are like certain things that i think to myself we should be able to do something with or break down like the glass from the mirrors for example like a little a makeshift knife or something like that um might not be the best thing but it could definitely uh defend you i wish we could go in here i always keep expecting to like see you feet or something or someone maybe there's like someone trapped in there what is the time it's getting towards night time so obviously i don't really want to be in like these areas when <laughs> When it happens, when night happens, just in case there's an aurora. There's so, see, these cardboard boxes as well. They're only really good for, like, tinder. I've never really destroyed all of them, so I don't know if there's anything good that could be hiding behind them. But I wish that they could be used for something else as well, other than just tinder. Because you can't just add them into fires. The same with the newspapers. So it's just, like, once you have your fire skill up high enough and you don't need to be like you don't have to use tinder anymore it kind of just makes i guess a lot of the things in the game absolutely useless so i feel like they need more uses for things dude this is not going so <laughs> this is not going well i mean we got some teas so i'm not gonna complain I'm not gonna complain too much. We got some teas. So that's good. Yeah, a few times there's been like a rifle round here. There is or should be a um what what are they called? Safe in here. So we'll do that. Okay. Oh, yeah. I why do I feel like there's going to be a revolver in the safe? Ooh, I'll take the flare. It would be cool if there was like I know there is which is actually another challenge, which hello. I would like to try and do at some point you have to grab the flare from i believe the flare is from oh, hold on let me do this and then i'll finish my sentence okay right yeah yeah you have to grab the flare gun i believe from somewhere really <laughs> i feel so betrayed <laughs> Oh my goodness, the dam is just not working out at the moment. Here I am, picking it up, and it's just failing us. It's fine. Um, Yeah, sorry, you grab the flare gun from somewhere, and then you take it to the lighthouse, and you have to shoot it. It's a challenge. I've never done it, but it was it's one of the challenges that I would like to do. The other challenges, like the hunted challenge and stuff like that, they honestly just like the idea of them really scare me. So I've never done them. And there also is the one that they bought out. I think they bought it out for one Halloween, like a really long time ago. The Dark Walker yeah dark walker dark stalker something like that um challenge and that oh i gotta remember to start looking up as well a really bad habit of like when i'm playing things to so just like go like this uh yeah that challenge i've never done that challenge either just because the idea of it really creeps me out um maybe i might try it at some t at some point but i'm actually a really big freaking baby when it comes to like horror spooky things <laughs> so 
I can't promise that I try that one, but I would definitely like to try some of the others and stuff. Um, but yes, yeah, so I think what we're going to do is I'm just gonna read this book until I get mega tired or something. And then I am going to sleep. And I'm gonna leave this video here. I know I said we wouldn't spend like the whole video in the ravine. We haven't. I kept my promise, but we also haven't really searched the whole of the dam. So at the beginning of the next episode, oh, this is creepy. Oh, I'll tell you what I might do actually. I might break down, no, it's gonna take an hour. I tell you what, I'll try and read a little bit more of this book. Um, yeah, so at the beginning of the next episode, we will finish off searching the dam and then we will venture off into Mystery Lake some more and search what is around. Um, we did get a torch, which is obviously only good in Enovora, but yeah, I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna eat a little bit, I'm gonna sleep. And I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you so, so much for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not already. Join the Discord. Become a member if you would like to support a little bit more. Not necessary, but it is all really, really appreciated. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. And I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Bye.